When I was a classroom teacher, one of the biggest challenges I had when it came to training student teachers was to get them to understand the importance of the prior knowledge process. Too many times they would want to just jump right in and teach the concept right away, formal instruction. But when we're presenting new information to kids, it's important to allow them to kind of move in slowly and, and connect these new ideas with things that they already know. And our Engage activities do exactly that. The role of the student during the Engage phase is to simply unpack what they already know. They should sift through their knowledge and think about things and how they make sense. And they should also have an opportunity to exchange ideas with peers and gain new perspectives. Encourage your students to ask lots of questions and wonder out loud as they talk things through during this phase. The teacher's role during the engage phase is to guide students and help them make those connections and organize their thoughts. You just need to keep them in the right lane and don't try and teach them, but do be on the lookout for misconceptions and mentally file them away to be handled later in the module. When planning the Engage activities in session one, the first thing you'll want to do is open the teacher guide. This is where you'll find step-by-step -step instructions on how to implement the online and offline activities found in session one. Pay special attention to the discussion questions found in the teacher guide. You'll want to plan in advance and think about how you can use these questions to drive a discussion that connects the student's prior knowledge to the activity they're experiencing. Next, you'll want to view the online activities yourself, including the digital notebook and the animated story, just so you can see exactly what your students will be experiencing when they participate in session one. Lastly, look over the offline activity so you can gather any materials or make any other necessary preparations in advance. There are many ways to implement the activities found in session one. One of the most popular ways is for the teacher to lead a whole group lesson. This involves completing the digital notebook entries and watching the animated story as a group. Following that, students will participate in a teacher-led discussion where they can voice their ideas and continue to make connections. To conclude session one, students will collaborate in an offline activity where they can further gain new perspectives by working with their peers.